Okay, I've started to put the exterior trim on and as you can see uh, by this window it's a definite improvement in how it looked uh, than before. I haven't done the top yet but uh, basically what I've done is this is a combination of three pieces. I have a, um, a bottom piece here then I have a center piece and then I have uh, these horizontal pieces going across and I let them extend over about an inch on the side here and it created a uh, kind of like a seat effect if you look at it and uh, it just it, to me it adds uh, a lot of style to the window and it's not too overwhelming for the facing of this uh, you know a tiny structure so it's not too overwhelming in my opinion and I'm going to finish up here and I'm gonna to have to get real creative with this window here uh, what I'm thinking about doing is taking uh, the same horizontal piece here which is wider and I think I'm going to remove the trim on the outside or perhaps I'll cut somewhere down here and then I'll have this whole piece from here to here white and then go on the other side and do the same thing to make it look like it's a uh, one piece there and have it angled I guess or offset some kind of way so I'm I'm contemplating on how to do that but uh once it's done and finished, I'll go ahead and uh, update you on the progress. And basically, I'm just cutting out. Um, I got this uh, trim here, and I'm just cutting it out to size and creating a nice little effect on the window. So real simple. Just pay attention to what you're doing. That stuff is expensive, and uh, you don't want to cut uh, incorrectly. All right. This is what we have gotten done so far. So as you can see, I had to figure out how to kind of deal with this corner issue. And this was the best that I could come up with. And what I decided to do is I put uh, two five and a half pieces of siding and then I put a center strip down the middle. Now all this is gonna be painted so it can match more. You can see it's a little bit off, but all the holes and everything you see, they're, they're uh, caulked and then painted over. But uh, you can kind of see, it. to me, it came out beautiful. It looks encased and it looks like one large window with a centerpiece and everything's kind of running down the center there as best as I can get it. And if you look here, this is what we have on the facing. So kind of vision that, you see that effect? Yeah, so you got that window and then we went ahead and did the same thing here. Um, yeah, I couldn't figure out whether I wanted to uh, turn this piece, as you see right here, if I wanted to lay it flat like that. But um, I honestly think it made or it gave a uh, 3d or type effect for the window to kind of sit out it uh, it looks better in my opinion um, With it kind of having a, a space coming out farther like that. So I did the same thing here to be uniform and Yeah, I'm very happy about these windows um, It looks very good and Even though the left side over there is wider It does not detract from the window because it looks like it's ending and and it's going to wrap around over into this window so it still gives a uniform effect because it looks like now when I do that window on that end it'll have the same space on the left side that this one has on the right side so yeah there you have it um, pretty simple pay attention carefully to what you're doing um, I lined everything up on a 45 uh, I run out of time today so as you'll see I'll go ahead and butt the rest of those pieces going down that way and there you have it that's the update on the windows and it's looking pretty good i'll give you one more shot from the front here as you can look at the whole effect there it's starting to really pop out in my opinion take care have a blessed weekend